Hello and welcome to the channel, my name is Mike Walker and today we're having a look at slow motion on the GH5 and how to get the best results in the edit. We'll be looking at two settings on the GH5, 4K 8-bit 50p and 4K 8-bit 25p using the variable frame rate set to 60 frames per second. First of all, make sure that the record quality is one that has the VFR available, the variable frame rate available. And you'll notice that the top ones, uh, this is the one that I normally film in, the 4K 50p um, 8 bit, 4 to 150 megabits, is the one that I usually use. And if we whiz down to uh, the 25p, not the 422 but the one after that the 420 you will notice that the VFR is available and I had that set at a variable frame rate of 60 frames per second so to do that you select that um, that record quality and then we go to the camera menu and on page one if you go to variable frame rate select on and then set and you can then put the variable frame rate up to 60, that's the highest it will go. Um, and then when you've done that, you set that, and um, you can press this button here to set, and that is now set at that frame rate at 60 frames per second. So then you can come out of there, and you'll notice on the menu here at the top, um, it does say, you know, 60 frames at 25p. So you can go to 1080 quality which is down below where it's got variable frame rate that's 50p if you go to 25p and use this one that's the full HD 25p if you select that and then go to variable frame rate you'll notice that you can now set that as high up as 180 frames and that would give you really nice very slow motion here we can see the GH5 with the recording quality set to 4k 8-bit 50p the lens I'm using here is the Lumix G Vario 14 to 140 millimeter it's important to use a 25p timeline and here we see our 4k 8-bit 50p footage so if slow motion is activated with this recording quality selected at 50% we will see 25 frames with no interpolation. If we slow it down to 25% using frame sampling we will lose every other frame so the motion appears jerky as in reality we are only getting 12 and a half frames a second. And just have a look at that if I just advance this uh, one frame there nothing happened another frame we've got some movement and it's every other frame as I'm hitting the key it's every other frame so we're actually losing a frame and we're only getting 12 and a half frames a second on this one just move it forward uh, it looks okay but um, the frame blending which is this one does look better and if I pause it there uh, we're running at 25% again and if I just forward each frame you can see we have got 25 frames but Premiere has made a frame between the real frames and um, we can see if you look at the confetti let's wait for a big handful of confetti to come out I think there we go if you look at that there you can see that the frames between the ones that Premiere have made which is that one that's a real one that's a a premier frame how it's um, made these frames it's it's a blending mode and it's not it's okay it looks nice but not as good as optical flow which is this next one so optical flow which is this one gives us a far nicer look a smoother look the frames are better for movement so um, if we just get to that same part where the confetti comes out on the right hand side here here we go 
if we look at each frame now we're getting 25 frames we're not getting that strange blending that we had before it looks a lot more realistic and Premiere has done a, a really good job of giving us the extra frames and it looks very good okay so moving on and the next clip here is running at 100 percent and this is the um, the variable frame rate at 60 frames per second um, but using 25p on the camera so 4k 8-bit 25p on the gh5 and using the variable frame rate at 60 frames per second and this is running on the timeline at 100% uh, so as we can see there we've got 25 frames but we've got 25 real frames just like we had on the footage there we've got real frames running at uh, that's running at 50% but we have 25 real frames so the way forward is to use it in the camera if you can if you need to use it in Premiere and slow it down even further then optical flow is definitely the way to go. Well that's it for this episode, I hope it's been useful. If you want to see more like this please subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll keep you up to date with the way I use the GH5 and how I edit the footage. Hope to see you in the next one, please leave a comment down below or give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Thanks a lot. Thank you.